guys, it's Katie Lee and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a little haul from this brand called JLux and we're going to see if it fits my size 14 body. I love JLux, like the whole vibe, it's a bad bitch vibe, bad bitch energy vibe, like full sophistication, like the girls always look fire when they wear JLux and like the pieces are just all about curves, enhancing curves, showing curves. I can sometimes fit into the XLs, but recently they just expanded their sizes to plus. So that makes me really happy and I can't wait until they do it to kind of all of their pieces. I know it's just a few for now. Um, I've modeled for them before. I usually model their holiday campaigns and honestly my pictures always look fire and I'm always amazed about how I look. I'm like, damn, I look like that. Oh, okay. Like, honestly, it just, the whole aura of that company is just bad bitch vibes. Like. HBIC, head bitch in charge, like, you want to date her, you want to be her, and the whole vibe on the, the page is just an aesthetic, but the crazy part is, is that aesthetic is truly, like, the owners, like, the owners that own um, the company, their two sisters, they are so, so sweet, but they dress like that in real life, like, I just be dressing like that when I go out, but no, they dress like that to work, they, this is, like, their true life, like, style, and every time I see them, they're so stylish, and I'm like, damn, I really need to get my life together. But um, no, they're really, really sweet. Honestly, I love working with them, and they're Asian women, so I, I love supporting, you know, my Asian women's sisters, and they're just honestly really, really chill and really, really, like, they're just good people. I mean, I worked with them one time, and then a couple months later, I got engaged, and they literally sent me a bouquet of flowers. It was, like, literally the sweetest thing ever. So I modeled with them just recently, I'm going to show you guys some of the pics that we did in the videos. And they sent me home with a bag of clothes. Literally, a bag of clothes. So I'm going to go over about, I think, six pieces, six to seven pieces. Um, I kind of picked things that I wanted to wear to Miami Swim Week coming up, my vacation, to events. Possibly, like, one of them could be, like, a bridal thing. So for my bachelorette, I don't know where my honeymoon. I have no idea what I'm going to wear to, but I, it just gives me bridal, like, vacay vibes. So, I'm going to share it all, we're going to break it down, I'm going to share my likes, dislikes, how I'm going to style it, so let's just get right into it. The first dress I picked out, I saw it on their Instagram story, or was it their page? It was their newsfeed, I saw it on their um, Instagram newsfeed and I just saw that they restocked. Um, it's this silver bodycon midi. Um, I don't even think they have silver anymore on the site. They have this really beautiful red color, but I think it came in like four colors, but I wanted this chrome silver color because... I did see Kim Kardashian wear it and she did look fire. I'm gonna stitch some photos here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's like a version of it. Um, it's not the exact same thing, but inspired. It is stretchy. It has that stretch into it. And then it has these adjustable straps. It's a zipper back and um, it's not the cheap zipper. It's it's like a nice, nice zipper. That's the thing about JLux, like you are getting quality. It is an extra large, it is lined in the inside. What I really liked about it is a lot of the ruching. So it has a lot of ruching in the front and it has ruching in the back um, and a slit in the back. Ruching is flattering on my midsection and it makes my ass nice and plump. Here's how I styled the dress. I paired it with my clear Zara heels. I love this heel because it has a thicker heel and it's way more comfortable. They still have it on the website even though I got this a few years ago. I matched it with these ASOS mixed metal earrings because I feel like it gave it a nice edge to it. The dress itself was a little bit tight. Um, I think if I wore some Spanx it could really smooth things out and kind of just give it that nice bodycon look. But I mean it was snug like really snug like I needed help with the zipper but I still love the overall look and if I wore a more thicker spank I think it would look really great I feel like because it's so tight it's taking away from the ruching effect so if they just made it a little bit bigger or if they had a 1x I'd probably would love to go with that instead and I don't like dresses that show my belly button but again I'm not wearing spank so this couldn't be an easy fix with some spanx the second dress um when I tried this on when I was modeling for them I I was like, oh, I need to have this. This is really, really cute. Cute for brunch, cute for date night, cute for any time you just want like a little floral dress situation that like is a bodycon and is also sexy. Um, it has these stretchy straps here that actually when I put them on are not loose or anything like you would think. It's not like that. And it has a little peak of lace here. So it kind of gives the illusion of it's like it's a bra peeking out, but it's not. The fabric is soft to touch and it is lined um, in the inside and it's stretchy. This 
is nice and stretchy, but it hugs and it doesn't feel like, you know, like really tight. Like you could eat in it and still be comfortable in it. But yeah, so I wanted to try this dress. I feel like it's super cute for date night, a brunch with girl. So I wanted to bring out the girly vibe since it was a floral dress. So I matched things that were pink with pink heels and a pink brand in Blackwood purse. And then just a simple statement gold hoop just for the jewelry. I like to keep my jewelry really simple, but yeah, I think it just brought out a funness to the dress and it looked really, really cute. I think you could style it so many different ways, even with like black strapped heels and a black purse just for a different type of vibe and look. When I saw this set, I thought immediately Miami. I'm wearing this to Miami for swim week. It just gives me Miami vibes. It is a corset here that has boning um, in it, which I think it's not fake boning. Well, it's not real bone, but it actually has the plastic boning. A lot of people don't really put the plastic boning and they put the lines. It's just not the same effect. It does have these cups in here, which I am a little concerned about because I am a 38 triple D and these are giving me more C vibes um, or, or D vibes, not triple D vibes. So I'm a little concerned about that. The backing has eye hooks all down the center, almost like a bra, and it has three rows of them, so you can do tight, medium, and looser. This is a size extra large. Um, also, what I thought was interesting in on their website is that they have another color, this in purple, and they mixed them. And I wish I thought that I had the idea, like that the purple top and then the um, and this color skirt. And I thought that would have been really cute if I thought about that, but I didn't. Let's say this fabric isn't as stretchy. It's like a fitted situation. They have a really good zipper here. The skirt has some ruching as well. The the uh, zipper is a side zipper. And it has a, um, some ruching and a slit. You can see the fabric here. It's a beautiful floral color. Perfect for like Miami, I think, right? So I definitely wish I could size up in this outfit because it was extremely tight. And I was right. My boobs did not fit those cups. But I kind of pushed them up so it looked like they were kind of up there like a push-up bra um you could take the straps out and make it a tube top but that wasn't going to happen with me with these boobs so it wasn't going to work i don't know if i could necessarily sit and move around in this dress it was tight but not comfortable um because it was so tight and honestly one move and my cocuterie might be out i think if i wanted to take like a photo in this it would be fine but i don't know like i said i can actually do anything other than take a photo in it um which is sad because i really really love the print i paired it with the pink heels again from zara and my pink bag again and then i just switched out my earring for a more diamond statement again from zara you know I love a really good uh, dress with some ruching in it. This is a size extra large. It's in this beige color and double lined. The underlining is a more darker tan color. And this fabric here, you can't really see it, but it has some glitter in it. But it has some great, great ruching all the way in the back, in the front, just to give you more, um, more of a flattering touch if you, like me, have more of a midsection, which I like to sometimes cover almost all the time but yeah um <laughs> anyways so it's there's no zipper you just kind of put yourself in it and just fit your body like a glove i thought this could be perfect for like a bachelorette like if you wanted more it'd be a beige color um i think this is perfect for miami as well if you wanted to stand out with more of a like a cream color like this um it's perfect for like my tan right now i feel like but yeah i just love this dress i think it's super cute it also comes in different colors so um, you should definitely check that out. This is a size extra large. So I'm wearing an extra large, and I think if I went up one more size, it could provide more of the ruching. Um, the thing about ruching is that I do love it, but then you're always having to adjust because if the ruching is wrongly placed, it can become unflattering. But I think my ass looks really nice. I think that's just the perfect amount of ruching needed. Um, but if you compare it to the model and me, the dress does feel a little bit different, but I still like it. On me as well um, I was filming by myself so I didn't even really notice that I didn't rouge properly but um, you definitely have to make sure that you're wearing Sphinx underneath and you're snatching and that uh, the ruching is placed correctly I paired it with this gold vintage bag and I just kept the same um, diamond earrings that I had in the other outfit simple is more with any JLux item because the outfit does all the talking and the jewelry just enhances it a little bit I went ahead and paired it with my clear Zara heels these are my most most comfortable clear heels I do have other ones but they're not as comfortable as these damn Zara ones so I definitely recommend to get these when I pulled this out I was a little confused because I kind of was like what did I what did I order um, because it's like one long piece like this but this is the bodysuit um, here and this fabric is the stretch fabric so you can kind of size down if you had to this is um, 
a large. I kind of wish they gave me the extra large. It, it fits me a little bit better, but I can still fit a large if it's this stretchy fabric. It's double lined. It's in this beautiful orange color that I think is perfect for my vacation or perfect for Miami as well. And then you put the bodysuit on and you clip it at the bottom. And then it has this skirt portion here that ties to the side. And it gives you a really high slit where you kind of see the, your bodysuit at the bottom. So that's why I probably want an extra large so it has more coverage in the bottom. But I love this dress. I think it's perfect for Miami, perfect for like sexy day night um, and vacation. 100%, 110%. I love the color of this dress and I like that you can adjust the skirt at really high points or really low points depending on your comfortability and how you want to style it. It gives a definitely two different looks. Again, I think an extra large would have been better for the bodysuit part because I feel like it, the large is bringing down my boobs a little bit. I'm not wearing a bra though, but um, I think just more of a longer torso situation for the bodysuit. I paired it with my gold purse and then a simple earring again and my clear Zara heels. Um, I keep everything pretty simple. I don't think this colorway is out yet, and I think it comes out July 7th, but when it comes out, I'll go ahead and link it on the bottom. Um, for now, I'm just linking the other color, but I'm definitely going to bring this to Miami and to my vacation because I definitely think you can dress it up and dress it down. I actually like the skirt laying lower than I do higher. Um, I, I think it gives a more elongating look. This outfit I was super excited about because I kind of have something similar and a pink and I got so many compliments um, from it. So they made it in a different type of vibe and material. So it's this white corset, which basically, honestly, you could wear with anything, jeans or whatever. So this is a great staple. It's stretchy with the linen fabric in the front, but then it has like more of a cotton fabric in the back that adds some stretch. So I would suggest going a down a size on this. I think I got an extra large. It, it fits. But you could go down a size for more of a tight vibe. It has a, the plastic boning, which again makes the hugest difference. The skirt is in the linen um, fabric and it has a band, um, waistband with a tie on it that kind of gives like vacay vibes, like really chic vacay vibes. So it kind of looks like this and it has ruching on the side. When you see this on me, it's going to be chef's kiss. You're going to want one. 100% and they come in different colors different fabrics so this is the linen one and I also have the velvet one and I'll link like the video and the links below I'll link everything so you guys can get to it but yeah so this look I cannot wait to try all right here it is on it is everything I definitely see this for like honeymoon vibes like if you're going somewhere tropical or I don't know I just I feel like I'm definitely going to bring this on my honeymoon I think I would opt out for these white Aldo heels and go with the clear heel that the model had I think it just looks better and elongates you can see it is a perfect fit and the skirt is so flattering you can tuck the corset in and out if you want it just depends on what your preferences I like it both ways but I love this corset in general because I definitely can see it with some jeans as well there is some gathering on the hip area that you have to kind of pull down I didn't iron this skirt too so you're definitely gonna have to iron it um, before you wear it last but not least I have this two-piece set that I've been eyeing for a long time when I modeled for them, I've always worn these pants with some type of corset or top that they've created. And now they have it in a set and I've always wanted it. So they also gifted me these and I cannot wait to wear it to my um, vacation or I might wear it to Miami as well. These pants, they got some weight into it. The quality is great. They're double lined. They have this elastic waist. This is a size extra large and I got in the beige color, but now I almost want all of the colors because just how the tailoring it just really elongates your legs and makes you kind of look taller they are like they have a lot of fabric so if you're short you're gonna have to hem them they're meant to be worn with heels but like me knowing me like i'm not wearing heels on vacation i'm wearing flats so you probably have to hem them but they're just a great staple pant i just love them and it comes with um this top here which you can tie in the front or I have another technique where I kind of crisscross it around my neck and I use a hair tie because it's not long enough um, to give a different look. But it's just also another chic look that you can have perfect for vacation, perfect for more of a casual vibe. And then like you just stick your hair back with sunnies. Like it's a vibe y'all. This outfit did not disappoint. It gives this elevated chicness, but still being comfortable at the same time. I paired it with the white heels I wore prior, but I think a tan heel would be great or a clear heel would be great. I had it with some simple earrings, the little diamond studs in it that I got from Zara and my vintage gold purse. I actually want the other colors and I also think it'd be really cute if you tie it around your neck too. Um, I would have to use a hair tie because the it's not long enough, but what I noticed too is, is that 
online they have different tops you can wear with it um so you could always opt the top out for something else but it just gives that chic vibe and comfortability all at the same time thanks so much for watching my youtube i hope you guys got some like jlux vibe inspiration you can go and shop those looks i'm gonna link everything below um let me know you guys what you think like are you guys feeling these looks what you like what you don't like also comment below on what store i should do next um yeah so make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and follow me on tiktok because i make content like 24 7 so if you want more of this stuff i got you okay all right until next time